In this video, I'm going to teach you about slope. Now, if you remember slope intercept form, y equals mx plus b, your slope is that m value. Well, what exactly does that mean? Well, that m value is the gradient or steepness of the linear equation. So if you were looking at a grid and the line was something like that, that is going to have a different slope than a line like this. The second line is steeper than the first line. These two lines are going to be positive slopes because as you get greater in the x direction, you're also getting greater in the y direction. So if a point was here, moving down the line, it's going to keep going up. And these two lines, again, are going to have a different slope than a line like this. Looking at this line, your points, as you move to the right, you're actually getting smaller values. Since you're going to the right and you're going lower, the blue line represents a negative slope. So the slope is the gradient or steepness of the linear equation. Now when calculating m, it's going to be the change in y all over the change in x. That's the same thing as rise over run. Let's look at an equation from a previous video. In this equation we have 2x plus 1 is equal to y. So plugging in a value for x, let's plug in 0. Then when you plug 0 in for x, you're going to get that y is equal to 1. So let's plot that point, 0, 1. Now another point we did was 1. Plugging 1 in, you're going to get 3 for y because 2 times 1 is 2 plus 1 is 3. So now you're going to move over to the right 1 and up 3. And we'll go ahead and draw our line. Now we know that the slope is 2, but how do we know that? If you're looking at the graph and you don't see the equation, you look at the change in y or the rise of your point over the change in x or your run of your point. So from this point here to the second point, the rise we're going 2 up to get to that point from this point. So that's a change of a positive 2 because we're moving up. So the change in y, the change in this direction, is 2. The change in x, so going from this point to get to this point, is just one. We're moving one to the right. So this lateral movement is a change in the x direction and that was a positive one because we were moving to the right. So that's two over one. But two over one is the same thing as two, which was our slope. Let's say that we're not given the graph and we're not given the equation. You can still find the slope between two points. Finding the slope between two points is a simple formula. Remember, change in y over change in x. Change in y is the difference in the y value all over the difference in the x value. So if we have the point 0, 1 and 1, 3, we're going to say that this is x1, this 0 is x1, this 1 is y1. And we'll say that this 1 is x2 and this 3 is y2. So we have x1 and y1 and the x's and y's still line up with the coordinates. So your x column and your y column still remains the same. So your x's and y's are still going to look like a coordinate. However, sub 1, so x sub 1 and y sub 1, correspond to one point and x sub 2 and y sub 2 correspond to the other coordinate. So now we're just going to plug these numbers into our formula. y1 was 1 minus 
y2 was 3. And this is all over x1 was 0 and x2 was 1. Now let's solve this out. We're going to get that 1 minus 3 is equal to a negative 2 and 0 minus 1 is a negative 1. A negative over a negative is just a positive and we know that 2 divided by 1 is 2 and that was our slope in the original equation as well. Let's look at another example. y equals negative 1 third x plus 1. Well let's find a few simple points first. So if we plug a 0 in for x, 0 times a negative 1 third is going to be 0 plus 1 is just 1. Let's put 3 in for x this time. Negative 1 third times a positive 3 is going to be a negative 1. Negative 1 plus 1 is 0. And we can go ahead and plot these. 0, 1 is going to be here, and 3, 0 will be there. And let's connect those points. Now, let's see if we're able to find the slope by just looking at the two points. So if we were not given the slope over here, how would we find it? It's the rise over the run. So what was the difference in y or the change in y between these two points? To go from this first point to the second point, we're going down one. So that will be a negative one for the rise. Now our run is in the x direction, which is going to be one, two, three over to get to that point. And that's in the positive direction because we're moving to the right. So that's a negative one third. So we could calculate the slope looking at the picture. We can even extend this if we want to find another point. Let's move down one, because that's our rise, and over three. One, two, three. That's saying that our next point is going to be at six, negative one. Well, let's double check. If we plug a six into the equation, negative one third times six is negative two. Negative two plus one gives us a negative one which is our y value, so this checks out. What if I ask you to find the slope not using the picture and not looking at the equation? We're going to use our formula, change in y over change in x. So we have our point 0, 1, and we have the point 3, 0. 0 is going to be x1, 1 is going to be y1. 3 is going to be x2, 0 is going to be y2. Whether you assign x1 and y1 to this coordinate or x1 and y1 to this coordinate does not matter. Just as long as the sub 1s are together and the sub 2s are together. So let's plug this into our formula. y1 is 1. We're going to take away y2 which is 0. This is going to be all over minus our x2, which is 3. 1 minus 0 is 1. All over 0 minus 3 is a negative 3. So this is negative 1 third. And if you remember our original equation, negative 1 third was the slope.